didn't notice you walked in. I'm kidding. That's a real cheesy way to open a video. But you know, it's fun times. So Advent. Advent is upon us. The season of Advent. There's four Sundays in Advent. You get the three purple or three blue candles, whichever way your church does it. We do the purple here at Zion. We're just that way. We're old school. We're fun times. You get the rose candle, or if you're really high liturgical, we call it the pink candle. Rose is from like the low church. People call it rose, but that's okay. But of all the Sundays, my favorite Sunday in Advent, well, actually, my third one is the Rose Sunday or Pink Sunday for the high church, you know, Gaudete with John the Baptist. But the first Sunday in Advent is pretty awesome because what you get is like a Palm Sunday for the first Sunday in Advent. And the Old Testament reading for the one-year lectionary, even though there's other lectionaries I've heard about, but I don't really focus on those. I'm a one-year guy because I'm just very simple that way. And the Old Testament reading is from Jeremiah chapter 23, and it reads thus, Thus it reads, I'll do my church voice. Have you ever noticed that with some pastors, they have a church voice? It's like the regular voice is like this, and the church voice is like, our Lord said. It's like, where'd that come from? Are you Mayor Quimby or something? What's going on here? That can be edited out later, I guess. But it's Jeremiah 23, verses 5 through 8, and it reads thus. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, or branch, if you're from England, or hungry for brunch. And he shall reign as king and deal wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. So you get both Judah, Israel, the whole, whole people of God. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought up the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But as the Lord lives, who brought up and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the north country and out of all the countries where he had driven them, then they shall dwell in their own land. The key thing is God is coming because he's our righteousness, our righteousness. That's who Jesus is. He is the righteous branch that comes from David that is coming to bring us his righteousness, meaning he can stand in the Father's presence unashamed unblemished because he is the perfect son of God and the righteousness that is his is now yours. Why? Because Christ has taken that which is unrighteous in you, your sins, your doubts, your failures, your, your scars, moles, all the bad stuff. He's taken it and drowned it in his blood on the cross. So now you, in exchange for your sins, get all of his righteousness his perfect keeping of the law and completion of it, his perfect obedience to the Father, his perfect death, his perfect resurrection, everything about Christ, even his life, eternally is yours now because he is your righteousness. And that's how Advent starts. That's the Old Testament reading for Advent 1. Here's the guy coming for you. He's not angry. He's not upset. He's not, he doesn't have a list that he's checked twice to make sure if you're naughty or nice, that's another dude. And trust me, uh, Pastor Ill will talk about that guy, St. Nicholas, that's December 5th or 6th, something like, no, 5th is Krampus, 6th is St. Nicholas, so he'll talk about that. Stuff. But with Jesus, he's coming just to give you good stuff, his righteousness. It's fun times. We'll see y'all next time when we talk about the epistle reading. I don't know why it's scary, it just sounds good that way. Toodles. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.